guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about episode four of season one of What If. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, here's my review of episode four of season one of What If. Before I watched the episode, I had a feeling based on the title that instead of Steven injuring his hands in the car accident, Christine was going to die. And sadly, I was right. But even with that difference, Steven still became the Sorcerer Supreme. So no matter what timeline the events take place in, he was always meant to be the Sorcerer Supreme. It was really heartbreaking seeing Steven go back in time to try and prevent Christine's death. But no matter what he did, Christine would still end up dying. Since, like the Ancient One said, her death was an absolute point and was always meant to happen, no matter how sad it was. I know that Steven wanted to bring Christine back, but since the only way he could do that was by absorbing the power of other beings, I had a feeling that all of the power he consumed was going to affect him in a really bad way. And it definitely did. I know that the Watcher can't do anything that'll change what happens in the timelines, but when he said that even if he did tell Steven to stop trying to save Christine, Steven probably wouldn't have listened to him anyway, I thought, I wish that you would try and stop him, but you're probably right. I think that there will be an episode where the Watcher will finally intervene and it'll cause something really big to happen. I just don't know if that'll happen this season or in season two. I never imagined that we would see two Doctor Stranges fighting each other, but it was still pretty cool to see. Both Doctor Stranges loved Christine, but while one was obsessed with bringing her back, the other one knew that she couldn't be saved and decided to save the world instead. When Doctor Strange Supreme absorbed with the good Doctor Strange, I was hoping that his good side would convince him not to go through with bringing Christine back. But that didn't happen. And I also didn't blame Christine for being scared of Doctor Strange Supreme when she first saw him, since he looked like a monster. And it was also cool that so far, this is the only episode where a character talked to the Watcher, since Doctor Strange Supreme asked the Watcher to help him save the world, but since the Watcher can't intervene, he couldn't help, and this timeline was destroyed. It was also annoying when Doctor Strange Supreme said that he didn't want the world to pay for what he did when he was warned that this would happen. It's clear that we'll see Doctor Strange Supreme again since there's a part in the What If trailer where Doctor Strange Supreme is talking to Captain Carter. So I'm curious to see what happens with that. Both Captain Carter and Doctor Strange Supreme dealt with the octopus creature, so maybe they'll connect with that. Thanks for watching, guys! 
if you saw the episode, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my previous What If reviews, check out the playlist. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!